All you need is, you know, half a yard and that's what I did. Obviously try and push him down the line, but if he comes off on, on his left foot, you've got to block the shot. I know I will not be offside on this line because I'm watching him, so I know where he is. Welcome to this special edition of Box to Box powered by HCL. Manchester United's Diogo Dallo is alongside me at the touchscreen. Good to see you, Diogo. Thank you very much. Uh, a few um, more minutes this season than you have had in previous seasons. How are you enjoying it? Uh, a lot. I mean, that's why, that's why I came here. Uh, I feel uh, confident uh, and I mean, I want, uh, want to, to keep going, want to do, keep helping the team and hopefully we can, I can play uh, a lot more games. So let's take a look at some of Diogo's defensive work this season. Obviously, we think of you a lot of the time as someone who's able to get forward, but you've really shown this season how capable you are defensively. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of, of my job, being, being a fullback. Uh, you, are, you are defending first, you are a defender, so you need to defend well and then join the team uh, on the attacking bits. But hopefully um, I can step in even more a little bit uh, defensively and offensively. But this season it's been, it's been really good uh, for me um, to, to, to do this this kind of stuff that we are, we are seeing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, reading the play is really important, isn't it? We've highlighted you here. We just pick up on Tiamu Puki as well, just in this uh, section of your screen there. He's obviously the dangerous player for Norwich. Did you notice this straight away with the ball, the way it was traveling towards the box to come and... Yeah, I mean, as soon, as soon as Victor does the cover for, for, for Harry, uh, I automatically uh, know that my man will be the, the one that Victor had. Uh, and you need to be switched on and ready to go uh, cover Victor uh, in this case. And that's what I did. And, and, and I was fortunate enough to, to get the ball back, yeah. And another uh, example of you getting the ball back is, is right here against West Ham. Now, this is quite a good position that you take up on the edge of the box. There's a good line there for Manchester United. But what you'll see, as soon as the ball comes out to this left-hand side, immediately you're on the move. And you can see there you really go yeah. and put the pressure on and eventually you win the ball back. Yeah, I mean, we know that uh, they've, they have very good crossers. Um, so I think it's cross, Crosswell. Yeah. Um, these are very good on, on, on the left foot. And the message that uh, the manager gave to us is that as soon as he had the ball, we need to press high and, and go with everything. So I sprint uh, as much as I can and as much as I could to, to get the ball back. And, and as soon as I understood that he wasn't going to cross, that's when I put my, my foot there. And you enjoyed this tackle, didn't you, on uh, Davares, one of your fellow compatriots? <laughs> yes, also. Uh, I knew that uh, he was fast as well, uh, but I, I recovered well. And as soon as I saw the opportunity to tackle, uh, I had to, to, to do it, yeah. Pressing is a big part of the modern game, and it's something that Diogo does very, very well. Let's take a look here at some of the highlights of Diogo's pressing this season in the Premier League. Getting to the ball first, getting to the ball quickly, getting up the pitch, winning it back for the side, that's a, a really crucial part of the modern way, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. I mean, when, when, when we try to press high uh, to keep the other teams with, with, with pressure, uh, don't let them get in on the first uh, attacking phase, uh, I mean, that's, that's a huge point for us. And, and, and obviously, um, doing this with quality, doing this with with uh, speed, uh, gets a little bit more uh, easy for us when, when we get the ball back and up the pitch. So, so that's obviously a main, a big part for, for the nowadays game and, yeah. and we want to do that. And it can lead to chances as well. We just saw part of your work there giving Marcus Rashford an opportunity on goal. We'll see it in some of the other clips as well. If you can win the ball in those high positions, often you can get opportunities like that. Away. Yeah, because we're a little bit closer to the goal than, than if we drop back and we press uh, on, the, on the halfway line, for example. This, this, these examples are good because we, 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 we recover the ball more or less on the, on the final third and we, we are closer to the goal to score. To score and that's, that's the, big, the big point and I think we score on this one. Yes, yep. yeah. So, so that's the perfect example of, of yep. pressing high and, and then having the reward that's, that's, that scores. Yeah, it's not always about winning the ball back and then going on to, to cross or assist. Sometimes it's just about winning the ball Sometimes back. Sometimes you don't area. need to touch the ball. I didn't, yeah. didn't touch the ball on this, <laughs> on, this, on this example. So it's just to put pressure on, those, on the, the opponents and, and he just gave us, gave us the ball back. So it's a good, a good, a good clip to, 
to show how we should press every every single game. We've seen Diogo's defensive work, we've seen his pressing. What about the attacking elements to his game? That's a part of the game you really enjoy, isn't it, getting forward? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of my, my strengths. Uh, I always try to, to help the team getting forward, uh, whether it's with passes, uh, driving the ball, uh, dribbling, crossing. So uh, I always try to keep that on my game. And, and it's been... It's been good. It's been good. I think I can I can even get a little bit better on on that aspect as well. Uh, but obviously, it's a it's a big part from for my game. Yeah. I really like this clip. This is one where you end up gaining so much ground down this near touchline. I'll play it on a little bit quicker. Actually, you see Paul here uses his strength well. Immediately, you drive into this yeah. space. Paul uses his strength, as I say, to hold off the midfield players. You collect it, give and go. I think there's a little nutmeg thrown in as well here, Diogo. Um, and there you go. All of a sudden, you've got all this space. You're on the move. And just take a look here at how many defenders you've got chasing yeah. your midfield players. That's how quick things can change once you start yeah. to motor down that side. Yeah, I mean, I have time and space to put the ball when I want, where I want. And then I give it to Paul. As soon as I saw that Paul was holding and waiting a little bit for me. That's when I take off. And, and then I give the ball to Rashi and, and when we go to, to, the, to the attack. And here we are, are having you on this side as well. You're calling for it here. You get in an advanced position and you very nearly get the, get Almost, the ball in the back yeah, of the net. It's a good save though. It is a good save. So here's a, a, an assist that you make earlier on this season. Again, in that advanced position, delivering the ball into the penalty area. Eddie doesn't get it the first time, but the second time he does, when you're crossing the ball in like that, is there ever a thought in your mind whether to go low or to go high? Is it just about the moment? In this, in this moment, I, I almost had sure that uh, the three defenders that were there were going with Cristiano, uh, because they always do when they see Cristiano moving inside the box, they always go with him. So somebody would be free. Uh, and when I get the ball, uh, I see from, from my eye that a guy is there, so I try to give him on, on his foot. Uh, it's the best way for them to score or the easiest way. Um, and it would be better if you would score from first touch, that would be an assist. Now it's not, <laughs> so, but it was, it was a good, good play as we'll well. We'll count it as an assist yes. for now. We'll <laughs> give it to you, Diogo. Um, here's a, a, another example of your attacking play, just drifting into these spaces. You've got a good five or six yards of space here. There's an option on the outside of you as well. When you're in this position, um, do you often think about shooting or is it just about the angle that you're in? It depends. Uh, sometimes, as you can see, Cristiano can be an option as well uh, to, to cross a little bit uh, softer to him. Uh, but obviously when I'm so close to the box and, and I have no close options, uh, the shooting is always an option. And, and uh, hopefully I can, I can score one goal from outside the box one day, yeah. Yeah, we've seen you get close. There's been a few moments in those clips, so yes. maybe before too long we'll see you hopefully, running off. Hopefully, celebrate. hopefully, yes. <laughs> so that's it for another special episode of Box to Box, powered by HCL. Diogo, it's been great to have you with Thank us. Thank you very much, did my you, pleasure. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, always. It's, always it's, it's always good to see. Uh, our clips, especially when they're good, uh, and, and it was my pleasure. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Don't forget you can find more episodes of Box to Box on the official Manchester United app powered by HCL.